assalamu alaikum hello everyone i am wahid ali and today we will discuss about the buq and cost estimation of irrigation system so i have a thin canal area and uh, you can go first to legend <clears throat> there we have different types of pipes these are the irrigation pipes and the bow or the sleeve pipes for the conduit as a conduit we use there is the sprinkler notation this is quick coupler wall here is the ball wall or you can call it uh, art uh, flow control wall this is the pressure release wall this is the pumping unit and this is the gazebo unit notation so here is the complete design and uh, let me turn off a couple of uh, i will turn off the circle layer so the circles are gone and uh, you can see now everything so first of all to calculate a buq we will turn off the layers right and we have only left the sprinkler layer right so i will select all and i will go to list list command and there you can see 69 sprinklers so here i have a buq type thing in which already i have pasted the prices so 69 sprinkler i have entered now i will go to the pipe section so for the pipes i have to turn on the layer of pipes right so here we have the pipes layer so i will go to list command and list option and here you can see that i have a length of 118.7 uh, 18 feet and 7 inches so i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 nine lines of that mashaallah <coughs> alhamdulillah <coughs> now i have the small line so i will go to list command and it is 31 feet so i will add 31 plus then i will go to this line this is 100 this 66 so 100 plus 66 plus now this line 60 66 almost 100 so 66 plus 100 plus and here it is 28 and here it is 157 so 28 plus 157 So this is 1610 feet is my one inch line. Now 1.5 inch, that is 73 plus 52 plus 72. So 73 plus 52 plus 72 plus. I have a line here. 70. Fifty-three, seventy-one. So seventy-three plus fifty-three plus seventy-one. There, that is the three hundred and ninety-four feet is my one point five inch pipe required. Now two inch pipe that is three hundred and thirteen feet plus this line. Thirty-two. So I will go to D class. So three one three plus thirty-two. That is three hundred and forty-five feet line, right? So now for the sleeving, I have to open the park design. So this is my track, and uh, I have crossings here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, twenty-six, almost right, and twenty-seven, uh, twenty-eight, and twenty-nine, and twenty-nine. Okay, so I will go to conduit pipe. It's this pipe that is available in market. So I will go to twenty-nine multiplied by ten. 
So I need 290 feet for my conducting to cross the, these irrigation pipes. They will be in conduit, so if there is a break, so I can easily pull them out and put them back without disturbing the, uh, the path. Now I, we have to calculate the BUQ, the fittings. So I have end cap 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 end caps I required of 1 inch. Uh, of one inch. There 1.5, 2 inch, 3 inch, those are not required. Now I will go to elbow section. So uh, any elbow of 1.5 inch if required. Yes, we have one here and uh, nothing more. So one elbow up 1.5 or 90 degree. 3 inch not required, 2 inch degree. So 2 inch degree elbow. These are not elbows. This is a straight line, but I, ha I, I can't put it here, right here. So that's why I put it at distance. So there will be no elbow like this, right? And uh, no sharp bend like that. So two inch elbow for the pressure release wall, we require two rest we don't elbow of one inch there. So one. And uh, oh, there one point five inch elbow one required hair also, and one hair also. So this is three. And uh, elbow of one inch dia. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, six elbows. So you can go for six elbows, right? Or uh, T's plain T, three by two, three by uh, three. 2 inch plain T, so yes, 2 inch plain T. Here I required 1. Here for pressure release wall connection I required 2. This is 3. Uh, here I will put 2 inch T and reduce it in 1.5 and 1.5. So these 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, 5, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. So I need 6. T's, plant T's. Now two and a half. So two and a half. Yes, I required. No, not there. Not there. Two and a half not required. Two and a one. So yes, I required two and a one. One hair, one hair. So two and uh, three. And that is the fourth one. This line is slightly here. So four T's I required. Now two point two by five point hundred. No, that is not required. One point five inch. Let me check. One point five plane I required. Not. I don't think so. I don't need it. Okay. One point five by one. So yes, we required it here. One. We required here two. Here three. Or uh, uh, here four. Five. No, no, no. Not here. Four hair and uh, hair, yes, five. And uh, anyone else? No, five. So five required. One for five by 0. 0.5. So yes, I required that for my sprinkler connection. One is hair, two, three. And uh, for this sprinkler, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 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 eleven, twelve. Twelve. Twelve I need for my sprinkler connection. One inch plane that is required or not? I don't think so. I don't need it. No, I don't need it. One by one, uh, one by point five. Yes, I need it for each and every sprinkler. These sprinklers. So these are sixty-seven total sprinklers minus twelve, because twelve I have already on on my hair. So fifty-five sprinkler, fifty-five T's I required for one one and a half. Okay, now bushes. Reducing bushes, so 2 by 1.5. So, yes, I needed hair 1, 2 by 1.5, right? And uh, hair and hair 3, and hair and hair 6, 4, 5, and 1 hair 6. 6 hair, and uh, I need 1, 2 by 1 inch T for this one also, hydrant also. So, 2 by 1 inch T, I think I have. Four here, so I make it five. 
and uh, reducing bushes by 2 by 2 by 0.5 so make it 8 I suppose right and 1.5 by 1 so 1.5 by 1 1 is here required 1 uh, here 2 and uh, here it is 3 here 4 here 5 uh, here 6 6 6 I need right so ball wall how many of them 1 2 3 4 4 4 I need okay any male adopter for 1 inch tire so I will need one for my hydrant female adopter no I don't need it male adopter 3 inch male adopter 2 inch so I need a female adopter ah yes uh, female adopter for my pumping unit so one is hair required and two per pressure release walls so I need three hair and uh, female adopter is 0.5 so I need that for each sprinkler so those are 67 67 or 69 69 sorry here also it is 69 right I don't need sprayers and I don't need bubblers I don't need oh yes straight adopters I need 50% of it so that is uh, I make it 35 and elbow adopters yes I need 3 by 4 um, 3 by 4 no, point 0.5 I need those one uh, 35 make it 50 because sometime one will be broken don't know gto bush required no not required ratchet clamps yes double up those ones so 100 required and uh, wall box or not wall box medium required no i will use 10 inch round wall box for each four walls and one for uh, uh, my hydrant so five are here and I need two wall boxes of medium size one for the pressure release wall or this one and one for pump so I need two wall boxes here so then I have a PVC cement so I will need uh, 0.5 liter for each hydro zone make it two liters KCV yes I need one for my hydrant and drip tubing 69 by 3 so three feet required with each sprinkler and uh, pressure release wall yes I, I need one and uh, blade for saw for pipe cutting okay I will take two and plaster of Paris yes I need about 10 kg for marking Teflon tape yes I need 69 each for each sprinkler one rubber pipe you need or not that depends upon you so I don't need it so I remain it trenching and back fin actually this is the sum of the all pipes this pipes right and uh, I multiplied that by 1 by 1.5 so 1 feet is the width of the trench and 1.5 feet is the depth thrust boring I don't need it cable if you required you can put, put in you don't need then leave it if you have there the irrigation system so I have a grand total of for like 10,000 rupees right so that is my grand total but if you put their fi person contingency contingency this multiplied by a person all right so i will add up these two so that is my total not grand total and here will be my grand T right so I need that much for like 31,000 rupees I need that much okay now how we will define how we will know that each sprinkler is costing us how much so you will divide that amount by 69 which is the number of our sprinklers so it is 6248 rupees for the material for each sprinkler so this is the lump sum figure right including contingency now if someone 
is telling you that I will do this work for 10,000 each sprinkler. So he is charging you a lot of money, right? Labor is only seven days. Only seven days. That is the job for the labor. Seven days. So seven days multiplied by, if that is skilled labor, you can give him 2,000 rupees. So one foreman and two helpers, three persons, if they get that amount for seven days, it is 42,000 rupees. That is the labor. That's it. Okay. Trenching we already covered here. 39,000 rupees we are giving the, those to excavator or you can give it to labor. So 42,000 labor you can add here. Right. If you are going to put the design charges, so you can go for 15,000. Okay. That is reasonable. So this plus this plus this. Again, if you divide that by 69, it is not more than 7,000 rupees. Right? So you can just check the both the three the two figures that is 7000 rupees that is 6000 rupees pkr right so if someone is charging you 10000 rupees then he is making a lot of money you can give him 10% or 20% his profit but not more than that 10% or 20% is not making that figure a 10000 rupees that you can go okay give him 8000 rupees per sprinkler but not go beyond that, right? So the pumping calculation, the water source, that is a separate job, that is a different job. So we are not taking that in account, but for so far your spikes, your fittings, your uh, uh, rainbird specialized items, everything that is covered here. And you can see that the bottom figure is not more than 7,000 rupees, including their labor and everything. So it's a very good session. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like us and subscribe our channel for more details. Thank you. Allah is.